What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So I got Rachel out here with me. We've had a very busy day. It's like seven o'clock in the evening. It's really late for us to be feeding this late. But um, we've had a very busy day. So first off, uh, we made the trip with, uh, we took our friends Dutch and Brandy. We went together down to Oklahoma City. Um, we had a big meeting and this has to do with the Oki homesteading expo so stay tuned for that i can't give any information just yet but stay tuned for that um we already released something on facebook something about Oki homesteading in oklahoma city and did we say a date yet like a, a month or anything we have not okay so coming soon i can't remember what all we said but i don't want to give anything away so stay tuned for that um and then you guys know we had some hail damage and uh, we had to make some decisions and we, just start, we, we decided to start over with a brand new roof and they actually just got done just a little bit ago. They, came, they showed up very early this morning and uh, we had a hail storm roll in about a month ago. It damaged our roof and uh, insurance would only pay for the house roof. They didn't pay for the barn or the sh shop or none of that stuff. So anyways, we had to replace all the shingles on a roof and all that type of stuff. Um, a couple days ago, I'll throw up some pictures here. I don't have any really any video of them doing anything, but a couple days ago they showed up with the material. They used a big truck and a conveyor system. They set all the shingles up on the roof and then two days later, which is today, early this morning, like at seven o'clock this morning, the roofers showed up. I think they had nine guys and they got it knocked out in a hurry. Um, it pretty much, it took them all day, which for me, it would have took it would have yeah. took weeks for sure. That was impressive. But uh, anyways, actually being on a super steep. It is a very steep. Roof. I'll I'll, uh, I'll pan <laughs> the camera around and kind of show you guys the color. It is a little darker than what we had last time. I think it is a it's called a peppercorn color. Um, we went with a whole different brand of shingle, so we couldn't match it exactly what we had. But this is it's kind of close to what we had. It's a little darker. But uh, it's a good shingle, and uh, anyways. Skeeter's fixing to get it. What's he getting? He's messing with a honeybee. Skeeter, you better stop. <laughs> he will not stop. And uh, so my dad came over. I hear you, Smeagol. My dad came over and kind of farm set with all the dogs and all the animals, and you know, he was here while the roofers were doing their thing. And we had to go to Oklahoma City, which is about two and a half hours from where we live. So we had a pretty long drive. We had a meeting, it went well, but uh, dad was here with the animals and he said Mojo wasn't quite sure what to think. Look, you can see Smeagol's kind of, what's it called? I don't even know the, the, the word I'm looking for. He's, he was telling him it's okay. Mojo was super scared earlier because all the uh, nail consoling guns, him. consoling, that's what I was looking for. All the nail guns and stuff, he don't like the loud noises. So uh, dad said whenever they started on the back, which is at the back of our house. They started on this and then Mr. Mojo kind of took off and went to the front yard and then uh, <laughs> kind of laid around. Then when they started kind of on the front, he went and uh, got into the pasture with the goats. He didn't want no part of that loud when noise. When we got home, he was in front of the, the new chicken coop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, new chicken coop. We got to reveal the color here. We'll, 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 uh, we'll reveal it here in a little bit. Don't let me forget. I got it in my pocket. We haven't painted it yet. Um, I'm telling you guys, when I tell you we're busy, we're, we're, we're almost we're always going, whether it's kids stuff or Okia Homesteading Expo stuff or just YouTube stuff, whatever. Or if we don't want to do videos or we're just, we've been going down to the lake. Kai and I have been going down about every night and doing a little fishing and stuff. Last night, uh, Rachel, Kai and I went and my dad was down there. He brought some perch, which is kind of messing around a little bit. I cleaned out the garage yesterday. That was my task all day. Um, cleaning out and reorganizing all that, which I don't show any of that stuff on video, so. No, I don't want you to see all the junk <laughs> that we, that we, uh, no. get clutter under our, we got, we have a upstairs room and we have stairs that is, uh, that goes kind of over into our garage. So we have a closet door, I guess I call it a closet, it's more like a storage closet. It's a storage closet. Under the stairs and, uh, it, it, that's where things collect, like the kids' baseball gloves, golf clubs, all that type of stuff. Crafts crafts Every, it's everything catch -all, so i thought i have got i've had it on my list of to-dos for an entire year and i thought i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna knock that out and i got it done yesterday it looks great thank you yep and then we've been working on like kevin said so we just wrapped up our march Oki homesteading event which was march uh 22nd 23rd 
And we are actually planning an entirely new event. I can say that. An yeah. entirely new homesteading um, event. And we're taking it to the city, to Oklahoma City. Yeah, that's all we can say. So, I'll cut you off there, so I don't <laughs> want you to say too much. But anyways, we got to go feed. It's getting late. Mojo's like, Dad, do you understand how late it is? And uh, I've been dealing with these roofers all day and they're loud nail guns and all that. He says, can you please come feed me? Please, please feed me. Skeeter, what do you think? Huh? What do you, do you, what do you think of the roof? You push and mow? Huh? You push and mow? All right, we're going to go feed. And then here in a little bit, like I said, we will reveal the paint color. People keep asking, what is paint color? And then the other people are saying, why are you not finishing the chicken coop? I haven't felt like it. This is like one project that I'm trying to do in stages because once I get started, it's hard for me to uh, just stop. And I know I've got all this other stuff going on. And sometimes I don't want to have to do work all the time. I kind of want to go fishing. You can see my dad's got the boat backed up here. He's charging the batteries. He must be hinting around that he wants to go set some jug lines or something here soon. So Helen, you still work outside of the home. Yeah, I, I work full-time so job too. He but works full-time. No excuses. Um, well, cool. it is. It's not. A it's no excuse. Farmer. Look, look who it is. If you guys can see, I'm not gonna zoom in with this camera. There's Mr. Russell. What are you doing, buddy? You ready to eat your dinner? Oh yes, I missed you too, buddy. So I gave them last night. They all got for a late night snack. They got catfish. Some leftover uh, <laughs> fried catfish that we had cooked a couple days ago. So, anyways, we're gonna grab some food and we'll go see them real quick. Me and your dad rescued a chicken too. We didn't film yeah. that. I said, where is Kevin with the camera? We're saving a chicken's life. This is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we had a couple of the uh, roosters. Okay, hold on real quick. We had a couple of roosters that got into it and. Um, they won't stop. They won't stop. We got a little too many roosters. We got to get rid of some. Peter and I, we have broke them up repeatedly and they just. And what happened stop. to the rooster? So, I don't know where he's at. So he, He's right over here. There he is. His Hold eyes on. were so bloody they were matted shut. Yep, that's this rooster right here. So they got into it and his eye, you can, I don't, I'm not going to zoom in. It's kind of gross. I don't want to show it too bad. That you can, one, I put Vaseline on. So I washed him with warm water and I was able to get the one eye open. But this eye, I just had to put Vaseline right. on it and I'm going to have to catch him later. Um, and work with him some and more. the reason we knew that, my dad said that the roofers were here looking at that rooster and they caught it. And they're like, hey, something's wrong with this rooster. I guess it ran into him. It ran into him like it was why? walking and ran right into him. <laughs> so Rachel and dad kind of doctored it up. And while dad was here, farm setting and all that, I was going to show you guys. We got a bunch of uh, boards sitting here because if you guys remember from uh, the winter storm, whenever the puppies was about to be here, uh, my dad and I got some tarps and a bunch of these two by fours and actually uh, made some doors on the barns and over at the turkey pen. And uh, it was time to take them down, so he, he did that today and took them down, so that was a big help. Here, chickens, I'll give you some. Y'all gotta quit fighting all the time. All right, let's go see what little Russ not has feeling. to say. They're not fighting, it's the roosters. I know, but I think the roosters are fighting over the girls. That's the problem, right? We just have to Yeah. Yeah, so, I put here. all over his comb. Here you go, buddy. I'll give you some. I gave him water. Here. There you go. Oh, Russell said, hey, Skeeter. Oh, goodness. You can't get through the fence, little buddy. You know this. I know. I, I do the same thing. Uh, it's hard. I don't want to call ourselves grandparents. That's hard to do. I know. Look at Leesky and uh, Cora. I got to get used to this new camera. All right. I'm going to go feed the goats real quick. Okay. Feed that one. I did. Russell. All right. Bear with me. I got the canned food in my pocket. Go, I just threw a bunch of food on the ground, so go eat it. Risky. My nose bleeding. Why? 
Are you kidding? What happened? <coughs> Lace, can you jump up and hit your nose? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, that hurt. Let me see. Are you kidding? No. I feel like he broke my freaking nose. Let me see. Yeah, it's crooked. It's okay. It'll bend back. I'm just kidding. Russell said, hey, hurry up and feed me. Yes, I'll give you all food. Go ahead and dump, dump their food. Yes, I ordered you. Hey, I ordered you. Hey, you can't do that with this camera. Russell, I ordered you your own very own big boy. Look at him. He can't wait. Feed bucket to hang on the uh, fence just like your mom and daddy's. Look, you want some of this? I'll share with you. Come on. Here, you want some? There you go. And Mr. Russell, he's clean up, man. There you go, buddy. You okay? No, he knocked me silly. Sorry. What do you do? Jump up at you? Yeah. He busted me right in the nose. That ain't good. So, like always, they're getting their eggs. We could probably uh, actually start giving them more than one egg a day. Because the girls are still, when I say the girls are working overtime, they are some laying machines for sure. They are laying like crazy. And I'm um, super appreciative of them. And I know the dogs are. So uh, we'll, we'll, we can spare a few extra eggs for the dogs. And a lot of people don't know why we feed eggs to our dogs. Some people still want to argue with us about it. It says that it, it is bad for them, but it's actually not. It's very good for them. It cleans up their coats, makes their coats nice and shiny, and uh, gives them a little extra protein. And plus they enjoy it. They actually look forward to uh, eating their yummy, fresh farm organic eggs, whatever you want to call it. So, free range, free range, yeah, free range eggs. Can't beat them. But anyways, so uh, <clears throat> we're still working on the feeding issue, or it's not really an issue. We're working on the feed plan here with our dogs. We got to come up with something. We're trying to research a bunch. We're, we've been studying some uh, other people that has done things. We're trying to figure out what we want to try first. It's going to be a lot of trial and error to figure out. A feeding station where the dogs can get in and out and eat without the goats bothering them. So I'm not going to talk too much on that because I know I've been hitting it that subject here quite a bit. But everybody can see Mr. Little uh, Russell's growing good. He's he's starting to get a lot uh, better appetite as well. He's eating a lot more now. So <clears throat> Rachel's going over here with with the donkeys. You got the treats for the donkeys or what? They're way back there at the back. I don't know if they'll come if you yell for them or not. They won't. They might. They're, they're preoccupied. I already threw their treats on the ground. Oh. Olaf! Look, Dodo. Olaf's lost in a land of clover over there. So there is a ton of clover. This is the first year that uh, this little field over here, we haven't had the goats in there yet, besides Olaf. Um, normally we got like 30 goats in here and they wipe out all the weeds So there's never hardly any clover in here because they eat it so fast But now you can see mr. Olaf is in heaven with the clover for sure uh Oh, we got someone staring at us Right there. Hey, mr. Mojo. You ready to eat buddy? All right, let us finish up with the dogs over here and we'll come feed you Russell, what are you doing? Russell, sit. Good boy. I don't have a treat. Mom already gave them to you. Sorry. It's okay. Hey, Miss Cora. Just talking to your boy here. He's. You're doing a good job. Oh, yes, you all are doing a good job raising your boy. No, nope, don't be jumping. No, nope, don't be jumping. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. All right. I'll let you all go so you can eat. I got to go feed Mr. Mo. He's patiently waiting. I'll see you, Mr. Russ. You want to come? Come on. You can come. Come on. Come on. Russell. Russell, come. He wants to go feed with us. 
He said, oh yeah, there's my buddy Skeeter. There's Uncle Skeeter. He said, who's faster? He said, Skeeter, I just ate my Wheaties and I got all kinds of energy. They're good play buddies. All right, come on, let's go feed Uncle Mo. Yes, we know you're fast. Yes, yeah, Skeeter, you gotta let him win every once in a while or he ain't gonna play with you no more. Right? No! Who? Betty. Uh, put some in there yesterday. Okay. All right. This camera is crazy. It keeps like tracking on our faces. You boys, I can't get nothing done. Come on, come on, let's go feed my Uncle Mo. Walk this way. Run this way. Mojo said, "Quit jacking around." I want my foot. I'm trying to get this camera to focus, and it like it's all over the place. Don't look at my chest. Well, it's just a laundry basket. No, I have a whole wagon full. Oh, all that and this and the satellite dish was right here. If you guys remember that, there was a satellite dish right here. So we went ahead and uh, uh, took it off because we don't need it anymore. Because we're just strictly uh, we just use YouTube YouTube TV now, which is streamed over internet. Look, Mojo's like, uh, there's Russell. He's like, I don't know about this dog, Mom. <laughs> Did you see how he was looking at Russell? Yes, he doesn't like it. He's gonna get used to it. Come on, come on, Russ. It's okay, Russ. Come on. come on, buddy. You gotta learn. You gotta protect all these guys. You are gonna be universal protector, protecting everybody, so. Oh, gosh. He's like, oh, uh, where's that little tyke at? I don't need him around my food anywhere. He might growl at him if he comes up to his food. So, Yone got your dad today. Yone did? Yeah, she tried to tear his ear off. She said, man, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. All right, let's do this. Come on. Well, there's Mr. Walt. Oh, how'd you get in here, Russell? Here, Russ. Hey. You don't get to eat his food. How though. did he get in here? I let him in. He wanted to come in. Well, I don't. I was going to take well, him out here. Well, that's fine, but not when he's eating, because I don't know what's going to happen. Come on, Russ. Just don't let him get near him eating. I should have got his collar, actually. Yep, his lead leash. I mean, leash. Come on, Russ. You know what I mean. Come on. Just stay away from Mojo. Come this way. Here, get the gate. Come here, Russ. Come on. Come on, let's go explore. He's like, it smells so different over here. He's like, what are those loud things? <laughs> You're gonna be guarding this someday. Hopefully. Plans change sometimes, so. Yep, some things don't work out all the time. That's our plan. So the roof looks really good from here too. I like I like that color. It's different. It's a little darker, but I like it. Now we just gotta get this thing painted. I know Walt. He said, Yep, when you get the chicken coop painted, I'm gonna have this whole field to myself. No more chickens in here. Right, Walt? Our turkeys, I think, called up. Oh, that turkey back there is goofy. She flew up there and she slipped. I think that's in the face of the bell. Probably. Hey, come here, Russ. Come here, Russell. Come on, so, this is Russell's first time in this field. Typically, I would have a lead on him. And that's what I'm worried about. The MUs are very, very aware of things and they know this dog is new. So, uh, They've never really actually been around Russell. They've seen him in the yard, but they're not nowhere near used to him yet. So we got to watch that because they can be, they can be aggressive. We've never had our MUs aggressive towards us or any dogs or anything, but. Hmm. I thought I saw 
saw something over there. I think it's a piece of track that blew in the field. Probably. Russell said, this is really smells different over here, guys. He said, it smells really different. He said, I kind of want to back in the yard to play with Skeeter and Smeagol. <laughs> A little bit at a time, right, Russell? I think it's good that he wanted in here, though. Yeah, he ain't scared anymore. He so, b Before, he was scared to even come in the yard. Because I brought him up against the fence, you know, to play some. Right. But he said, oh, new poop to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's one thing about puppies. They like to uh, eat some strange stuff, but that's part probably part of how they explore and learn things. You want back out, Bubba? We, we need to check his collar, too. Go. I'm just glad he wasn't scared to come Skeeter, in here. Skeeter, Russell wants you to show him around the yard. Because that was one of my fears. Yeah. One of my fears was that he would be so scared he wouldn't want to come in here. But he, he wanted to come in on his own. Right. Which is a big step. We, we take baby steps here. Yep, nothing wrong with that. No. Oh, he walks back in. He was trying to get under the tree. <laughs> He's like, who's this big dog? You want back in? You can't get by Mojo's food. That's his food. Come on, you want back in? You want to come over here? Oh, he's like, I don't know about this. I'm not used to these goats. These goats might actually, they're not used to him at all. You know, he was raised with the other goats as soon as he was born. They're used to him and his smell. These goats... They smell really good. I mean, they can smell really good. The goats don't smell good. They can smell really good, and they can already smell him. You can kind of see how they're, now they're all got their uh, fronts to him. They're not going to turn their backs to him because they know that he's new. I mean, almost every one of them automatically turns right to the new dog. So you dog. just brought up a good, a good little thing. He just ate poop and licked your mouth. So, um, you said goats said something about goats don't smell or goats what'd you say i say i said the goats smell good but what i meant to say was the goats can smell good i'm too tired like like when there's a coyote coming in the yes. woods and stuff they know and they can smell they it a good sense of smell. yes that's... okay so we've been asked like do goats stink like i've i've read those comments and really the the does do not stink no the billies if if they are intact now they stink of course but yeah so these goats like they don't smell look maybe it. it's just because i'm used to it i don't no, know no they do smell a little bit but from what the smell is coming from is from a buck's urine just like uh in the wildlife deer they have scent glands and stuff like that right so when a doe's in rut they'll start getting this musky smell and all that type of stuff well anyways we're just talking about goats kind of the same thing the male goats will actually urinate in their beard and if you ever watch when we have like an adult male goat around some of our does they'll urinate in their beard and they'll go up to these goats and kind of rub their beard on the does like kind of back on their backside on their tails and stuff like that and that's kind of a kind of way of them marking nasty. saying this is my woman so nasty. it is nasty um you they you know stink. you go to pet one of your goats or one of the does and stuff and, you, and you're like oh man i smell it i smell it and you smell your hand and it's all over my your hand. point was like when you pull up to our house you don't smell a bunch of goats no but no but if there is a goat in rut you can smell him. You can smell him. Like he, they, the, the male goats do. Right. Stink. Look at those two. And that brings up another good thing we can talk about. So somebody, every once in a while, we get some new viewers that, that aren't uh, familiar with the way that we farm our animals here at Hidden Heights Farm. And they're like, you have so many animals. You have so many goats. Wouldn't the uh, poo just pile up and just, how do you, how do you clean it? Do you ever clean it and stuff? That's kind of where nature kind of takes place. Like we don't ever get out here and rake this stuff. Now, like in the barns, that's different. It don't work exactly the same. So we do have to kind of manage that. But out here in the field, we do uh, not um, it's, rake our field. It's all just, like yeah, it's just the way nature works with uh, bugs and natural composting. Exactly what it is. And that's why part of our grass stays so green is because <laughs> It's pretty much free fertilizer for us. So when it rains and, uh, you know, uh, 
I can't think of the words, but bugs and things break down the poo over time and it just is the way it works. It's rain, animals, everything. It just goes together and uh, it builds up the soil actually. It's kind of like a regenerative, uh, what's it called, pasture? It's What's the word I'm looking for? Regenerative farming. Yeah, pretty much. So, I know like a lot of people and I've, I've seen this done and sometimes I wish, man, I wish we could do that here, but you'll see like, um, people that have horses or um, cattle in smaller lots, they have machinery that they pull behind and it actually rakes up the the poo. Yeah. And then they go put that arms. on a, a compost pile or something of that effect. But those people typically have really flat ground. Right. Not rocky. It's not super rocky. rocky here. Even if that was an option, we could not, like, we couldn't do that. But you can't pick up the goat poop so we don't necessarily have poor soil here we just have very rocky ground so some of the stuff that we try to do here on our farm is kind of limited and i'm not going to get into all that we'll save that for another video because that kind of brings up some good topics but anyways to answer the questions about the poo and stuff no we don't ever really have to do anything in the pastures um the key to that is not overloading your pasture so Numbers of animals per acre of land or square footage of land, however you want to do it. You kind of got to figure it out on your own, do some math. You can get online and research, but everybody's going to have different numbers and stuff. And it really determines on your type of land. So we try to keep our numbers, you know, under that so we don't have to worry about the smell and worry about the poo building up and stuff. Now in the barns, it's going to happen because that's where when there's nasty weather, it's raining, that's where the animals all congregate. And when you got chickens and geese and emus and goats, it gets nasty quick. It gets nasty quick. So you got to rake it out. But the key to that is that makes it worthwhile is it adds the best stuff to your compost, like um, all your carbon stuff, all your grass clippings, all your leaves, all that type of stuff. When you mix all the animal poo in there and you turn it up, it starts doing its natural process of breaking down the organisms and everything. Just yep. eat it all up and it turns into what I like to call black gold. We fill it up. We fill up our raised beds and it makes really good soil for gardening or flower beds, yes. all that type of stuff. Anyways, I'm not going to go off on that tangent. I'm going to get back out here and uh, we, just go from one we do. <laughs> we go from one thing to the other. You never know where we're going to go on this channel. You guys know that. And I think that's why some of you guys like watching us. So, because we're kind of, uh, I don't know what the word is, but I got to get this camera on. Uh, look at this. So it was Skeeter and... Uh, it was Skeeter, Skeeter and Russell, now it's Russell and Smeagol. Are you all three playing or just chasing each other or what you doing? Huh? You all having a good time? Look at that. Look at that. Smeagol, you got all kinds of attention, don't you? I don't see your mama watching, Russell. But you know, buddy, come here and see me. Hey. Russell. Skeeter said, I'll come see you, Dad. Russell man, come here. He's just gonna follow Smeagol around, I guess. Russ. Skeeter, go tell Russ. Russell. Alright. So uh anyways, Rachel wants to go check on Betty. Um so guys, hopefully soon. Um I've got some plans this weekend. I got to get some stuff done. Uh, I got some stuff already planned and I was wanting to paint the chicken coop, but I got to finish weed eating and all that around it and get all that cleared out before I can actually paint it. The weather hasn't been exactly the greatest for painting. It's been super windy all week. It's, it's actually not too bad right now. I got a brush pile down at the lake I need to burn. What the heck was that? What are y'all doing? That just knocked the cage down. Somebody did. One of the pet carrier cages I had up on the cellar it scared them all. And they all took off running. But I've got a whole list of things to do. And the chicken coop isn't number one priority because, as you guys know, right now, our chickens are free range and they have a place to live. There's, it's not hurting nothing. It's just uh, a big pain in the butt, really. Come here, Mr. Russell. Come here, Mr. Russell. What do you think about being a free range dog, kind of? When I say free range dog, I mean on the farm, not exactly. Uh, we still got fences around our property. He just, oh, I'm not gonna kiss you. I'm not gonna kiss you. No, you've been eating geese poo and all kinds of stuff. 
But anyways, guys, that's uh, what we got going on. Um, it's a good feeling to get things knocked off the list, even though I didn't have to get up there and roof the house. Thankfully, um, insurance paid their part and we was able to get a new roof before our roof actually started leaking due to the damaged shingles and all that. But anyways, um, hopefully you guys don't have to deal with any of these storms. Um, our house is only seven years old, six, seven years old. And uh, that's the first time we've ever had to file an insurance claim for anything. And uh, luckily it didn't do any more damage. Um, you know, I hear other stories all the time of how people have a lot more damage than that. Luckily we just had the roof and uh, we got it repaired. But that was one thing knocked off the list. When I say we got a lot of stuff to do, that was one thing we had to get done. Meeting with the insurance adjusters and all that, you know, it just takes time out of your day when I'd rather be doing other things. I got chickens all over the place making weird noises and stuff but i guess i'm gonna get off here um thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go help rachel finish up gathering the eggs and all that good stuff i'll just walk in there now i think mojo's done eating so i can leave russell over here and the goats are all watching him so i'm not gonna let him in here just yet because i gotta go help her but hey what are you growling at the goat for huh he said, Mojo didn't eat all the food. He's going to clean up for him. Did you get the eggs? <laughs> yep. Okay. They're a bunch. Yep. Let's take a look. Russell wants to see. He might want one as a treat. You think he'll eat one like Mojo does and crack it? I don't think Walt likes Matilda out there by herself because he knows that he knows that those tom turkeys are out there in the woods the other day, or yesterday. He's like, now, Matilda, you know you're mine. You can't be sneaking off with them Jakes and Toms over there. I think Matilda wants a new man. Well, it's not very nice. <laughs> She's been with Walt for how many years? She can't just leave him. I found a nest of uh, fanny eggs that you have missed. I did? Full nest. Like, there was like six. Where was it? Behind the old, <laughs> broken down milk. milk stand. Really? We really need to, like, move that. I've looked over there and I didn't see them. So, you can see, Dad took the tarp down from there. We had a tarp up there. It's down now. It looks a lot better. But it did serve its purpose for the winter time. And um, I was thankful we got that up because it did get pretty cold. If you guys remember, whenever the puppies was born, we put the tarp over that big barn. It was super cold. It was January when they were born and uh, we had some snow, all that on the ground. So uh, it actually helped out a lot. But now it's summertime, the cold's done and uh, we can take them down until maybe next year. There you go, Bella. He said, yeah, I'll take that egg. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> you think Russell wants one? He's, he's occupied. I don't know if he wants one or not. We can go put him up here in a minute. He's playing. He said, I'm going to catch you eventually. Steve. Oh, he's, he's going to be a fast dog. I know his dad is lightning fast. You had to fix the gate today, too. Yeah, I had to fix the gate. I had to get the welder out. As soon as we got home, the gate was messed up. I don't know what was going on with that, but one of the welds broke or something. Had to weld it back up. It should be good to go for a while. So, anyways, it's just, it's never ending. Um, not complaining by no means. I am uh, super blessed for sure. But uh, that's one thing when you have a farm when you have youtube when you have this and that these goats smell that dog and they're making weird noises they're snorting, they're at, snorting him. at him just like a doe would do out in the a deer out in the wild but it's it it is what it is um i enjoy doing things if i didn't have the farm didn't have nothing to do i'd just be sitting around all the time and uh, i'm diabetic so that wouldn't be no good at all this actually gets me out and about lets me get some exercise in and gives me stuff to do so i'm not grappling sometimes Things happen that we don't want to happen, but that's just part of life. Just got to keep going, right, Russell? If it's not one thing, it'd be another. Yep. So, so it's either it is what it is. Farm life is very, very good for you if, if you have the opportunity to to homestead or farm, raise your kids up what? in that. It's a great life. Oh. He said, "Yep, I'm sitting. Tell him, good boy." You. I'm gonna give you a banny egg. I'm gonna give you a little one. Sit. Sit. Skeeter, come here. Good boy, Russell. Skeeter. Stop. Skeeter, leave him alone. He said, this ain't a milk bone. <laughs> <laughs> he said, how do you bust these? Skeeter, you want one? He said, yep. 
I'll take one. You better. Oh, he figured it out. Look at that. He figured it out. I can't reach a He cracked it. Hope that don't make him sick. Can you crack it, Skeeter? Russell figured it out. He already ate the whole thing. Look at that. Cleaned it right up. Skeeter said, Russell, how'd you do that? <laughs> Look at him. He said, how'd you do that, brother? Or, or nephew. <laughs> yep. Now he broke it. Because he bit it and picked it up. I was trying to get him one of these and I couldn't fish it out. Little, little banny egg right there. So here's the difference. Size wise. Banny egg and a... Ooh, Ooh, did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. What the heck was that? I don't know what that was. That was a huge boom. It's like an explosion. Crazy. I know, she's going in the chicken door. So I did get the chicken door on the chicken coop. Yeah, her old house actually. All right, let's get off here. We've been we've been uh, filming for a while now. We didn't even have a uh, video ready to go, so I said we gotta go do a video real quick. And I just said, what are we gonna do it over? I said, I don't know. Maybe we can talk about starting over with the new roof. So there you go. And, and we uh, talked about the new roof. We talked, talked about, about everything. A poo. We're gonna start our own uh, talk Leaning show. <laughs> our own talk show, starring little Russell. Just Where'd a go? random farm yeah. vlog yep always and that's why we love you guys and uh we truly appreciate you guys tuning in no matter what video we, it is or whatever you guys are always leaving us awesome comments and watching the video and we truly appreciate that so if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing Can you show them the uh, chicken coop color no you made me forget i was saving it for the last you were gonna all right forget. which one is it this one let me look <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me turn around. So, so it took a lot of debating for me to come up with. Chicken. That is the new color that the chicken coop's going to be. And like I said, I don't know if we're going to paint the trim yet or not. We're going to go ahead and paint the trim this color to start with, and then we'll see what it looks like. I think like. I want to paint everything this color to start with. But um, I delayed the process because I could not decide on a on a color. And this is kind of in the in honor of my mom. She said it herself. She couldn't decide on the color. I didn't say it. She she uh, loved green. Well, she liked all colors, but green she really loved. So I thought I'm gonna go with green for my chicken coop. Russell said, "I think it's great. I think it'll work out great." He said, "As long as you but, keep them eggs coming." Yep. So, anyways, guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave us a comment. Please leave us a comment. Like this video, and we'll see you next Thank time. Thank you guys.